We have a choice. And Satan wants to throw it at us. Doubt is the enemy of God's dream in your life. James chapter 1 verse 6 says, But when you ask God, you must believe and not doubt. Anyone who doubts is like a wave in the sea blown up and down by the water, tossed to and fro. When we ask what God has in store, when we call upon Him to bring a request to Him, it says to ask and not doubt. So doubt, Satan uses to hold us back. Joshua had a doubt problem. He doubted if he could really lead the people into the promised land. The reason was because there were seven strong nations that stood between he and the promised land. And he said, I don't see a way possible for me to get into the promised land. And so Joshua had to make a choice. Was he going to believe his beliefs, what God had called him to do, or was he going to believe his doubts? And so he had to doubt his doubts and believe his beliefs. And family, God is calling us to do this very same thing. In order to doubt your doubts, two things have to take place. The first one is this. You have to stop comparing yourselves to others. You'll always find someone who's more gifted, has more abilities than you. And here's what Satan will do. So so God puts a call upon your life. He he asks you to, to, to stretch your imagination. And we'll talk about the different calls that God calls us to be a part of. But he puts a call upon your life. And then Satan will plant a seed of doubt, and he'll say, well, Dustin, did God really ask you to do that? Well, Dustin, you don't have much to offer. Look at that person over there. And then he'll take our eyes off the call of God, and he'll put our eyes up on someone else who is probably more gifted. I mean, reality is you can always find someone with greater abilities, more giftings, and Satan plants a seed of doubt in our mind to hold us back from really answering the call of God upon our life. 